Sarah, if you're reading this, I'm gone. I know last night you couldn't understand why I was leaving, and I'm hoping this will help make sense of things. I know you never believed me when I told you where I came from. Just passing it off is a bit. I know it's not easy to get. God knows I've tried to understand it myself. You had asked me when we first met. If time travel is real, then why don't we know about any time travelers? Well, you answer that question perfectly. In three years, we meet for the first time. Now the second, I guess. I wasn't supposed to come back here and stay with you. It wasn't a mission directive, but damn it, I had all this power to go and do whatever I wanted. I was determined to take back the time that was stolen from us. If I wanted that, I had to interfere and change your timeline. And I knew that after I did, I wouldn't be able to stay much longer. And that's why we don't make ourselves known. Because the risk of getting attached gains us nothing. When I return, my timeline will be the same. Torn to shreds. Cold. Desolate. And you will be gone, just like before. What I have done will have no effect on my time other than setting its death date. And I won't have anything but the peace of knowing that here, at least here, you would have lived, even if I'm not there with you. And that's all that matters. I'm sorry. Don't blame yourself. I won't be coming back. I don't think I can. Love, John, for all time. Thank you.